my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to groom a Labrador professionally. So that is my profession. I am a dog groomer. I have my own business down in Dex Pets. Um, yeah, I've been a little bit inactive at the minute because I did have COVID and to say it took a toll on my life would be an understatement. So trying to get back into the swing of things. Um, yeah, so I'll bring you guys along with me. Okay, so Ramsey is here. He, um, so usually we pop them up onto the table and assess them, but I've done a quick assessment on the floor because there's no one here. Um, he's got a lot of dead hair, like that could literally just go in, or wash him in the bath, get rid of that, give him a good, good scrub, and then we will continue to breathe. Excuse me, out the bin. He's in the bath now. Um, you can't see me really, but I will. He's the best boy. So what we do is wash him with some warm water. Stay there, good boy. I'm going to put that away so you can see me a bit better. So we just soak him. I get my seeds away. So I get wet. Just soak him in water. The boy's going in the ears, obviously. I'm just. Boy, make sure she's so hot with dead hair and so we're really going to be scrubbing that. So we're going to soak all over. You best boy? Oh, yes, you are. Thank you. Do you want to get this side? Can we get this side? Now. Now I. A lot of people do it in a mix sort of thing, but I just find it quite easy to do it in. Do you know how to put the shampoo? So I use Dirty Beastie, which is really good for the thick coats, but I like, I really like it on the um, lights of lash and things. It really gets the dead, helps the dead hair. So I use a good bit, I use about that much. Mix up the shampoo, and I will do two washes in for the breather. No, I can't have that breather, I should give them three washes. Itchy. I guess so itchy. Yeah, just work it into his hair. Make sure you get it off again. Enjoy the dog room. Then come in soap. Make sure it's cold, it's washed.
shape he's gorgeous Now I'm going to use this called a fast dry spray and it just smells good. Whether it works or not, I don't know, but it smells good, so. And he's trying to eat it. And I'm going to put this dryer on him. and then I'm going to dry him the other side, hand dry him. So I'll show you a little bit of that and then I'll come back to you when he's dry. Basically, I don't know if you can hear me, but you're basically just getting the dryer and just going over him until he's dry. <laughs>
so now we have a dry lab. Um, his head's not perfectly dry because he didn't like it, but that's okay, we'll work with that. So I'm going to go in with this brush for the ferminator and just, oh good boy, he just begins to take off his dead hair. So can you see? So this just takes off the dead hair. <laughs> He's so puppy like, he thinks it's all again. You can see that. All that hair. You don't need that. You don't need that. So, brush them all over. This one's a bit. is good on the other one. So you just good boy. So you can see how much hair is actually coming off. The lighting is probably really, really bad because the lighting coming in at the back. You can use like a rake thing either, but I just really get on with the ferminators. Boy. Did you fart? Good boy, you did a psycho boy. You knew, didn't you? Can I have this bum? Good boy. It's, it's really heavy. We can shape them a little bit as well as getting rid of the dead hair. Look at that. They're going to feel so much lighter. People think short hair dogs like this don't need to be groomed, but I'm sure you can see now that they do. <laughs> and then I am going to go back over with the dryer again, just to throw away some hair. There's a green bit there. Untie that. I need that. Okay, we're getting there. And his owner did say about the hair under his paws, he's slipping, so we will give that a trim as well. You could brush all day. Okay, can I come here? I don't need the hair. Can you come here? <coughs> I'm just going to keep brushing for a little bit and I'll get back. Now what I'm going to trim with the tag scissors, just these kind of little hairs. Actually, no, I'm going to go with the chunkers. Uh, yeah, the chunkers. Um, blenders, just see this area here, just to get it a little bit tidier and neater for him. Now obviously a lab is quite an easy dog to groom, That's something you guys could learn and definitely. 
or I'm happy if you're local to do it for you. Cool. I feel like, like it's like when you go to a hairdresser, your hair's always the best when your hairdresser does it, isn't it? <laughs> I just prefer the scissors. Good boy, good boy. Maybe I need to shave it with him because he's quite wriggly. Ah, ah, ah. Good boy. Ah, ah, ah. Good boy. Not too bad. Just a little thing. And the back ones. Not too bad now. Okay, yep, that one's fine. Oh, trick. Yep, but your nails are actually good, and that's good for me. Good for me, as he's not let me do them. Um, so then I check the ears. So I just get a little um, cotton wool pad, and I use the wall easy ear to put in hair for him and I just dab a little bit on and just literally go in my ear these aren't sturdy whatsoever so it's just nice and clean I don't cross contaminate so cross contamination cross contamination I don't know what it is we use a separate one just in case there was an infection or whatever this is too much He's absolutely, but he's absolutely powerful condition. Just needed a good wash and brush for me, mate. And then we we'll go with a baby fresh powder. So it's baby, it's baby, ugh, baby fresh, baby powder spray. And give him a quick Yeah, you're just ready to go, aren't you? Good boy. 